Welcome back to my channel. You might be wondering why I have a pumpkin on my head. Wahoo! There's a pumpkin on your head. I hadn't noticed. Well, it's because I thought this would be a really good way to introduce this new video. Um, it's spooky doodle season here on my channel. And if you couldn't tell, I'm going to be doodling a jack lantern today. So, um, let's go ahead and march on over to the uh, actual introduction of this here video. Alright, introduction Nina here. How are you? It has been a while. I feel like I haven't seen you. It's been a minute. It's been like a week and a half since I've downloaded. I needed to take a second. I needed to readjust, rethink. I mean, quite frankly, I'm gonna be honest, nobody's watching my videos. I was putting a lot of time into doing three a week and I thought to myself, you know what? I got better things to do with my time. No offense, I love all of you. But I'm thinking Friday videos are gonna be what I'm doing from now on, or at least until I get some viewers. So, with all that being said, let's get into what we're actually doing here. If this is your first time, I'm sorry you had to hear all that. It's a bit of a downer. But my name is Nina. I am the doodler. We doodle on this channel and other things. Um, there's really no boundaries to what can be done, I suppose. But today we're doodling. I'm doodling. I'm doing a jack-o'-lantern. It's spooky doodle season, as the pumpkin me said in the pre-introduction of this video. And I'm going to be doodling a jack-o'-lantern. As I've said like three different times in numerous different ways, I'm gonna say it again. We're doodling a jack o' lantern. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna get done with this introduction. Um, the material I will be using is pretty standard. If you've been on this voyage, this journey with me, you will know that I'm going to be using my Strathmore drawing paper a black sharpie for the outline and orange sharpie for the actual pumpkin itself so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and start doodling for you peace what's up you guys time lapse nina here welcoming you to my desk all right we're gonna get started with drawing out a pumpkin today pumpkins are super simple you don't want too perfect of a circle, uh, so it makes it super easy. And then you just add a little stem, and then the spacing of the lines is like obviously completely up to you. For this one, I started off with some wider spacing, but then I actually decided to fill in the gaps and make the spacing a lot smaller. Uh, so, like I said, it's it's either it, you know, either way, it's up to you. And then I am kind of marking out the space that if you were to actually cut into the pumpkin to pull out the seeds um, it's giving it that little gap to make it look like it was cut less than perfectly i'm just erasing my lines and cleaning things up and as you can see i actually shortened the stem and then widened out the base of the pumpkin to give it more of a cylinder shape and now i am carving out the actual jack-o-lantern and once I'm done with this, I'm going to go through and erase the lines that are inside of what I would want to have as a carving. All right, I'm going to go in my fabric hostel and do the outline. I've done a few pumpkins. Uh, this is the fourth one that I've done. The first one was actually one of my first doodles I did last October. And I would have to say by far this is my favorite for sure. I'm really happy with just the dimension of the pumpkin itself. It has a nice sense of 3D roundness to it for some being something so simple. So as we're moving along here, I'm going to 
point out that one of the fun things about jack-o'-lanterns, of course, like, you know, just like in real life, is you get to pick the type of face that you put on the pumpkin. So I gave it kind of like a happy-ish face. It's not quite angry, malicious pumpkin, but it's not really like happy, happy pumpkin either. It's kind of right in between. So here I'm putting some dimension. Uh, this is to give it that 3D effect to make it look more carved into. Editing Nina here. There was a slight interruption with the sound in this part, so I'm going to go back through. Basically, I was just saying that I was really happy with my decision to use the shading to give it depth in the pumpkin. Um, that's something new for me, and I will continue doing that. And I also introduced the fact that I am starting to use Sharpie, uh, starting with the brown. All right. Editing Nina out. See you later. And coloring in the stem and the pumpkin itself. Now I decided to go through and color each section on its own. did that for a couple reasons. I didn't want the ink from the Faber-Castell to bleed. And it dries pretty quickly, but it can get picked up by the marker if you draw over it too quickly. So I was being careful more so than having to wait. And another reason I went section by section is it just helps to eliminate any kind of blotchiness or streakiness with the marker working within a smaller space. Okay, so you guys can't hear this, but while I was working on this actual pumpkin, I was listening to old time music, like old classic Halloween music, and right about here there was a song about a pumpkin and it was so weird it was kind of like they were trying to do a rudolph but like with a jack-o-lantern so i'm going to insert the real time right now for you Yeah, so it's so weird. It's like they were trying to do the whole Rudolph thing, but it just didn't quite work out. But it was still a fun little, little ditty I wanted to share with you. Anyhow, all right, so I am coloring in around the teeth. This is actually my favorite part, something about just the way the orange and the white was just really popping. Uh, it looked really cool to me. I enjoyed this part, which is good because it, could definitely have been the most tedious part for me. Right, we are not quite finishing up here. I've, I've done things a little differently. I'm not going to show you the actual external doodles uh, today. I'm just going to kind of do a fast jump to the finished doodle when... I'm done, which is going to come here really, really soon, as soon as I'm done with the yellow, in fact. So this has been real. I've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later, okay? Bye. And with a little cinematic magic, we have jumped ahead to a completed doodle. I love it. I am doing the internal doodles a bit bigger, and I'm really enjoying how it's looking. If you like it too, give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe for me. I would really appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I'm going to send you over to Real Time Nina so we can finish up this video. Later. Alright, well, I'm going to call that a done doodle. Thank you for sticking with me. If you are still here, I appreciate you the most. Um, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up for me. That gives me a huge, huge help if you give me that thumbs up. I appreciate you. If you are not subscribed and you're watching this, feel free to subscribe. Um, if nothing else, you know, you'll get to watch my hair grow. And if you're wondering why I just mentioned that, well, go back and watch my first video. Uh, my hair is really, really short. And as you can see, it's growing. So, for nothing else, you'll get to watch my hair grow. Uh, so...
give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you're not subscribed and if you like this video if you like this content and if you want to see my hair grow and click the bell icon for notifications so that you are notified for when i upload on fridays just fridays all right y'all i'll see you next week uh with a continuation of our spooky doodle season peace